Hey there! In this video, let's have a look at columns and text wrap which are really important when designing a document, flyer, or a poster. First let's draw a text box and insert some placeholder text which is under the type tab. Next select all and justify them with the last one aligned to the left and do slight adjustments to make it look clean. Let's also turn off hyphenate as it is a little annoying. Now to split the text into columns, select all, and in the paragraph formatting controls, you will see a field for the number of columns. That's where you split the text into columns. Just below that you can specify the gap between columns which is called gutter. If you want to span a paragraph on all columns, you just have to select it and besides split columns, there is another field for spanning columns. To make it look attractive let's add some spacing after all paragraphs. If you don't know about these settings, go back and check my previous videos to learn about them. Not only spanning all columns but you can span a paragraph selectively. That's it for columns, let's go ahead and have a look at text wrap. There are three images that needs to be wrapped and placed correctly. The first one is the logo. Once it is in place correctly, go to window and click on text wrap which a panel with the controls will appear. You could just play with the settings and eventually, you will get one that suits the most. Let's bring in the second image which was designed by me to demonstrate text wrap on edges. Click wrap around the object's shape while the object is selected and because the object has a transparent background, the type for the contour options should be alpha channel and the text will be wrapped beautifully. Let's bring in the third image which has a white background and check the way it wraps. To make it look nicer, I will change the background color to white. For this image, the alpha channel does not work but detect edges surely works, the reason for this will be in the description, check it out and have a better understanding. After placing all images in the correct position, the heading is affected due to text wrap. To fix this go to object and under text frame options, place a checkmark on ignoring text wrap.
that's it for today, thanks for watching, and congratulations on making it this far. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you up on the next one.